Good evening, everybody. How are you? Today, I'm going to talk about something that everybody asks me. What should I do to learn English faster? Well, there is no secret recipe, but there is one rule that I think is pretty obvious. The more practice you have, the, more, the faster you learn. So, my big tip is speak English as much as you can. Take the opportunity to, to take every opportunity you have to speak a lot of English. The more practice you have with bicycles, for example, the better you ride it. It's the same with language. So, during your English classes, it's an absurd to speak Portuguese. You have to speak English. You're paying to learn, and you will not learn if you always rely on Portuguese. So, speak as much as you can. My second big tip is don't translate. Guys, if you rely a lot on Portuguese, uh, when you become an intermediate student, you will see that there are many, many tricky words and many, many tricky structures. And it will be a lot harder if you try to translate every single thing. We are, we are dealing with two different languages and they don't always have the same rules. So don't translate things. Speak 100% in English. You will see that it's extremely difficult in the beginning, but, well, use a dictionary when you need, but only English. That's the only way you see the important words. With, like, with time, you will learn the important structures, and you will communicate in English. And if you rely a lot on Portuguese, teacher, how do I say, how do I say, how do I say, you will not learn. Try to communicate in English. My other very important tip, feel calm. It's okay to commit mistakes. It's difficult for everybody at first. Feel calm. You don't expect a drowning person to learn how to swim. So why should you expect to learn English in a stressful environment? Be calm. It's okay to commit mistakes. There is no good teacher in the world that say it's wrong, it, it's bad to commit mistakes. It's okay, that's the only way you can learn, by committing mistakes. That's how you learned Portuguese in the first place. So that's how you should learn English, by trying to communicate in English. You don't need to travel, just communicate in English. Another tip I give my students is, if you talk to yourself, do it in English, because you will feel free. Okay, at first you will feel crazy, but it helps, I swear to God, because there is nobody judging you. You're talking to yourself. It's okay to be silly to yourself. So, speak in English to yourself, during the shower, or when you're in your bedroom, before going to bed, I don't know, but talk to yourself in English. That's the only way you can see the words you need, you can see the structures you need, and you will feel relaxed, nobody's going to judge you. So, these are my big three, three, sorry, my big three tips. Don't translate, speak as much as you can, feel calm, okay? I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.